Hi ladies, I just want to do a craft shed tour. <clears throat> I have posted a video a couple days ago maybe saying that I was going to shoot for Saturday to, um, to actually get it done and I figured I might as well just do it Saturday. My room may not be absolutely clean and perfect but it's going to have to do. Um, so, this is half of it. This is pretty much my half. So, um, it's, a, it's very cluttered, as you can tell, and not very clean. And then, we do have this other side. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to make anybody sick. But we do have another section over here. Um, like I said before, hold up, let me see. Like I said before, we do do powder coating, and so I put up this sheet so that none of my stuff gets messed up because, um, we didn't have the right ventilation at first, um, so powder was getting through, but my husband fixed it, so... So this is what it looks like when I first walk in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, make my way around, and then we will go over here. And I will apologize because this side is kind of my husband's side. And I do have some stuff over there, like some storage stuff over there, which I will go and show you. Um, so his area is a mess. My area, not so much. But, um, you know, that's kind of how it is with with them so right here is this is just a little like cabinet I have um, it goes down um, over here is just boxes because I do have a business I do ship out a lot of stuff so I have a ton of boxes over here um, but back to what I was saying right here these are just kind of projects I did so this is a little like um, it's a plate and I just put it some of my the vinyl that I use because I do vinyl decals and I just kind of made it. This is a project I made. So this is pretty much projects I've made or completed. This is the most ugliest thing I've ever created. Um, but it's, I just couldn't throw it away. Um, so I just kind of put it over here. Um, here, these are projects that have already finished. So... I'm not quite quite sure if I posted this video yet, but I do have a start to finish on the making the box. I do have a video, a flip through video of the. I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs. Um, we have new neighbors, and so they're outside um, cleaning up the yard and stuff. So my dogs are not used to seeing people next door. But um, so I do have a flip through of this. I had a start to finish, but for some reason it was corrupted. Um, and so it's not letting me upload after I edit it. So I got to figure out what it is that, um, that I can do to fix that. This project here, it's kind of, it's kind of gotten torn, uh, torn up because, um, my husband is kind of careless and just throws my stuff all over the place. But this is a, um, design team project I made for, um, Joe Scrap Shack that I'm in and um, I use this arena foil it's so pretty look how shiny it is I'll be having a, um, a video of me doing a project with arena foil um, this was originally supposed to be my design team project but it came out terrible so I have to start from scratch all over again but this paper is beautiful not and nonetheless so this is just a little gift box that I can have um, so in here, I have flowers. So like I make wreaths and stuff for like my my um, studio door, and so I just have these like cheap Dollar Tree flowers in here, um, or stuff that I got from Walmart or Hobby Lobby, and I just keep them in here. And whenever I want to make a um, make a wreath, I can just easily come over here and grab them. But it's kind of like decoration also at the same time. So, um, and then we're gonna move down to here. And here, this is where I have my uh, Xeron machine, my sticker maker, my Sizzix, and my um, cinch. And I did have my dies up here, but I was using them earlier, so they're down uh, by my desk area. So now we're going to move on to the next section. So right here is just some packing tape. My uh, youngest one left his dog in here. But this is just kind of like storage. I'm really just junk. But um, in here, I have all my stamps. 
And so really for my last, um, for my last craft sh uh, shed tour, when I first got my, um, my, um, shed, nothing organization wise hasn't really changed, um, through here. Um, but things have gotten rearranged, um, and put at different spots compared to where it was. I mean, I didn't even, last time I did my craft shed, I didn't even have this section over here. I just had this small, like, not even this full area. So, um, most, I mean, it was, it was small when I first started out. So, but, uh, we've been expanding. Um, sorry. So, anyways, this is my chipboard. So, on my, um, medium weight chipboard, I do have white cardstock here, black cardstock here, um, craft cardstock, transparency sheets for when I'm making shaker cards. Um, this is just a random drawer. I just put all my Tim Holtz stuff in it. This right here is chipboard, uh, more chipboard. These are, like, picture frames that I can alter, um, and then this is just, like, junk, pretty much. And this was, this here, I have a whole bunch of, um, newspapers, because originally when I had this, I was in my, um, I was in my house, and, um, in my, mine and my husband's room, and we have a big old, like, glass window, and so my kids like to, like, touch on, on it, so I like to clean it, and I, I let them, like, color on the, um, glass uh, window but we no longer I no longer am in the house so um I really don't know why I still have those so now we're gonna move on to my next section so here again um flowers this is a um this is a craft project um from that I made for Joe Scrap Shack, I originally made this to um, apply for the design team, and this is what got me in. So, I do have a start to finish video on this um, process video, and then I do have a tutorial on how I made this style. Um, and so, here I have another tower, and here I just have like my embellishments, you know, cards, um, ephemeras, cords, you know, just stuff pretty much and then I do have more embellishments these are just um tags so these are embellishment tags and these are all my tags that I have and here this is stuff for my cinch these are just my uh cinch wires here I have my wild orchid craft flowers these are all my roses here is ribbon and trim um not ribbon and trim sorry used to be ribbon and trim now it's my um Wild Orchid Craft Flowers, um, my, uh, chrysanthemums, let's see, my Mongolians, so, I mean, I just have a ton of, here, this is just, like, um, stores for, like, altered projects I want to do, so, like, formal cans that I want to, um, embellish and alter, um, this is just a junk drawer, pretty much, nothing important in there. Then we move over to my desk area, and sorry, I went shopping again. I really need to stop, but I can't help it. This here, so this here, I'll just show you this now so I can get out of the way. This is a big box that I have, and it has one of these Tim Holtz nonstick uh, mats in it. And what I do is I dye my own seam binding so let me show you so I dye my own seam binding and this is where I dye it so I don't have to worry about getting anything like gross or like um you know messing up my projects or anything and then I can just scrunch them up leave them in here put it to the side while they dry um but that's just that's how I make my my um seam binding so I'm just gonna move this out of the way so here I have a project I haven't I do have a start to finish on this that I will be uploading soon. Um, this is just a swap I'm doing in Paper Crafters United. So here, this is just stuff I was using for that project. This is um, this is just stores that I have. I use a lot, I use a lot of tool. Um, I've been using a lot of these mesh ribbons. So I have them right here, so I could use them. I've been using a lot of doilies. Um, and then just other miscellaneous stuff. 
And then here, these are all my like papers or like um, cardstocks that I use a lot. So I use a lot of the eight and a half by eleven black cardstock. So I have that um, where I can easily grab it. I have my chipboard. I have twelve by twelve white, um, twelve by twelve white cardstock, twelve by twelve black cardstock. So you can see. And then I have 12 by 12 craft cardstock and then just like pattern card, um, card stocks right here. And then this is just my top and it just has things um, on it. And then I do have this little quote on my wall that says make beautiful uh, things. But it's been covered up due to um, me moving a lot of stuff. And then I just have some pictures of my little ones up here. That's my oldest when he was an itty bitty baby. And this is my youngest. He's one and a half now and this one is three. So... They're growing up. And then I do have this Christmas banner. I do have a start to finish video on my YouTube channel for this. Um, more pictures. There's a picture of me and my husband. And um, just a blank photo. And this right here, this is my, um, I guess my camera setup. It's just a stick hanging from the ceiling that my husband made for me. And, um we have this screwed in and so this is um my new camera i got for black friday and then i do have this m right here with the an altered uh, board i made okay so sorry i keep bouncing around back to what i was saying so here i just have my i have lights um my paint brushes i was painting something the other day and so i haven't had the time to clean them out I do have my um, paper towels and you know just all stuff that I use regularly. My desk is a mess, so I'm sorry. My score tape, um, you know, like my matte gel medium and stuff like that. Um, I do listen to the radio around here, just so. Um, this way right here, this is how I carry my embellishment. So stuff I'm using. I haven't taken stuff out from Halloween, which is why I have these or this orange, and I have black, but I use um, most of the black, so the seam binding. So I, I'm in the process of moving things out. So now I'm just gonna take a seat, and I'm gonna show you. So this is a junk drawer. It just has pretty much junk in it. Here, these are all my Christmas embellishments, so stuff I'm, I've am i been using a lot in projects. That way it's right here, I can just grab from it, I can keep it out and just grab what I need. Um, and not having to worry about having a whole bunch of stuff on my desk. Here's just more um, stuff I don't really use as much. Um, I do have my wipies. These are little solo cups I use for painting. I just put my paint in it and grab from there so I don't have to put it on my mat or anything. Um, just binder rings, some uh, twine, uh, yeah, twine that I use for um, my junk journals, uh, post uh, note cards that I use, like I distress them and I can use some tape, watercolors, uh, stuff like that. And then on my other side, it doesn't, I don't have it open all the way, like the back is just storage, but I do have where I can open this and I can pull out because this is what I mainly use are my crepe paper so I can just pull out my crepe paper and normally I mean I haven't used these yet but normally I just have it to where it's in here and I can just pull from the top um, and then here just extra um, baby wipes but this is where I keep my 12 by 12 paper pads that I'm using and um, that way they're not just sitting on my um, table and then this is just my cutting mat. This is stuff I use quite a bit. And then now I do have storage underneath here. So this is a reef that I want to alter soon. Um, that will probably be at a later date. Here are like my Christmas, more Christmas embellishments. Like these are like um, projects I have planned. So I did do a haul on my Dollar Tree stuff. And so I'm going to be making a reef. Um with these and then I do have like just embellishment it's pretty much labeled and then here I have my, my colored cardstock and then I have like extra black and um, white cardstock that doesn't fit in my other um, 
storage container. And then right here, this is where I'm in the process of moving my dies to. So these are the magnet um, air vent mats that you can get at Lowe's. This is where I got mine. I'm pretty sure you can get them at Home Depot also. Um, but I just keep them in here and then I can just grab what I need. Um, and like grab the dies out that I want. So I'm in the process of moving them over. Surely it will happen. We will see. It seems to take a long time for me to get things on the ball. Sorry guys. I'm, I hope I am not making anybody sick. This thing is not going in. So I'm just going to sit this like this. So yeah, I'm like... I guess I'm kind of organized. I like just keeping things labeled because I don't like running around. Like, if I'm in the middle of a video, I don't want to go t and walk over here and then spend five minutes looking for something. So I have everything labeled. That way I know what it is and I can just easily grab it and bring it back and search through there on camera. Um, but... I don't really prepare most of the time when I'm doing a video like I just I have a general idea of what I'm gonna do and then it just kind of goes from there so sometimes I'm like oh this would be great to put on this and then I go and get it and I'm gone for like five minutes looking for something so um, I like just you know labeling it so that I know it's there so these are also projects I'm gonna do you know altered gift boxes um, an altered gift bag then I want to do these stock envelopes that um, a lady that I follow on um, YouTube her name is any Dunn. she uses these for um, like a stack envelope and it's really cool and so I want to try it out so then I have um, right here I have like my big um, chipboard uh, wood veneer stuff I just kind of keep it on top. And then here are my um, Wild Orchid Craft embellishments. And as you can see, it's just pretty much all the embellishments I have from Wild Orchid Craft. And then here, these are all my stamp pads. Um, I just keep all my distress, pretty much I just have distress ink. So I keep all my distress inks in here along with some of the ink pads that I have um, and my embossing pads. And I do have back here, these are extra like foam pads for my distress inks. So I'm just going to set this back. I just don't want to uh, leave anything out because then it won't ever get put back. So, plus I like to put things where they go just so I'm not digging and searching for it. So down here is just more stores, um, things I have. So I was supposed to do a like hypocrisy, a hypocrisy, I hope I said it right. No, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I'm not going to even try to butcher it. So, um... This, it, this was supposed to be a, um, like a Halloween cabinet. It was supposed to have, like, um, cool little, like, potions and stuff. But I was just so busy. I wasn't even able to, to do that. So I was a little sad because I went out and bought all that stuff. So now I need to figure out what I can use that stuff for. Here's all my paper bags. Whew, I'm sorry. I was up watching the new Gilmore Girls series. And I didn't go to bed till 5.30. So, sorry for all the yawning. So, now we're going to move over to this section. And right here is just another cab, uh, like, not cabinet, but like a, um, a, like a shelf that I have. It's on wheels, so I can move it. But, um, this here, um, I posted my haul videos, and I was going to show you how I, um, organize my boxes here so all my embellishments so I'm gonna start with the top right here this just holds um, this here holds my sequences um, my seam binding that I use to dye chipboard and doilies uh -oh. this here are just my bigger wood veneers so these are my wood veneers that don't fit in here. So I do have these also. These are also filled with wood veneers. Uh, but these are like my bigger medium sized ones. So, so 
are my wood veneers. And of course, it's labeled um, wood veneers. My the second, the first box I showed was is not labeled wood veneers because I wasn't sure or wasn't labeled because I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be really putting into it. I just kind of threw stuff in there because I've been trying to clean up for this video. Here is another um, of the tubs. So I get these tubs from Wal uh, not Walmart. Some of them I do get from Walmart, but these here, these smaller, thinner ones, I get from Michaels. And I mostly get them on sale when they are like $4. So, and then here I just have like Prima Flowers. So there's that. And then, let's move over here. So over here I have, these are my embellishments so like all my pretty much like metal embellishments that i use for like decorating like uh my mini albums so like some flat back pearls some uh metal pieces and then i do have more wood veneers and buttons then if you come over here, these are all my coffee dyed um, papers that I have for junk journals. Um, right here, these are my Reno foil papers. This is for um, the de uh, design team I'm on. I'm, I'm on the Reno um, foil paper design team, and this paper is beautiful. So I really, um, I will put post a link also to them along with um, Tsunami Rose. Because that's also who I do, um, do some design team uh, projects for. So, so here is another box. And this one is my ribbon and trim. Uh -oh. I don't really, I don't like keeping these things on. So my ribbon, all my ribbon and trim. Here is... This was not labeled. This is just like projects, huge projects pretty much. So these are the blank books. This is my clear embossing powder. Um, these are some, I really wasn't just on top of making my videos. Like I just recently started like trying to um, regularly come in and post videos of projects that I've done. So this here is a project I wanted to do for Halloween. These are really cute, like, little milk carton bags. So maybe next year. And then, so then I have crepe paper and then more of those little bags. Here, this is all my Toonami Rose um, papers. And this paper is gorgeous. I do have start to video, uh, start to finish videos and flip through videos of my um, of some of my um, Toonami Rose uh, projects. <clears throat> All those. And then I have here. These are just more like embellishments that I have. Nothing special. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go through this stuff over here because this is more like my business stuff, not so much crafting related, but I will kind of like breeze through it. So, this right here, these are my two machines that I use my TV uh, for watching TVs, my printer. This is all my vinyl, and then these are like my vinyl scraps. So then I have my, my other printer here. And then up here, I just have my paints. I have brads, rhinestones, some, um, some like a little crafting journaling cards. Um, let's see. I have spray paint, uh, the, um, yes, uh, distress sprays, some distress paint. I have like wood embellishments down here, some um, wild orchid cross embellishments, some little metal paper clips, and then this is just 
um, this is stuff I, I've gotten in like swaps. So this right here I made, this I made, but this, this I made, this I made. This, that was from a swap, this was from a swap, and these are things I altered. Um, I altered that too, and I got that in a swap. So, just my desk area right here. Um, of course, gotta have my snacks. Down there, it's just my labeler and stuff like that. Um, bows. And now time to do this other piece. So, this area is a mess. So, we're gonna start right here. This right here is just all my score tape that I do sell for my business. Here are the stress inks that I have that I also sell for my business. Um, and the um, cutting pads. So pretty much in these two are things I sell for my business. This is just scrap paper. My project lives. And then um, extra cutting mats. And then this is just um, those containers. I just have like assorted uh, nails. Stuff like hardware stuff. Or like extra blades for my cameo. Or my um, my uh what is it? Paper trimmer. Here, these are just cameo cuts. So things I cut from the cameo, I also do the same thing where I add the um, the white baskets and organize them. Here is just embellishments. Um, kind of like the same thing um, I have over there. But these are stuff I don't use as much. Um, also, I do have a six by six paper pads that I hardly ever use, but I can't seem to stop buying. Um, over here, these are t-shirts for my business. Sorry, that area is a mess. Um, we do still use that small section behind there for storage. Um, extra craft paper, and which can actually probably get moved, um, to my craft spot. So here, these are just like embellishments for junk journals, mini albums. I can just take this basket over there if I need to. Um, these are chipboard, like, albums that I just was going to alter and never did. Uh, that's just, like, cleaning supply stuff. So, over here, this is just all our inventory. Um, this is our heat transfer stuff for making t-shirts. This is our powder coating sections for doing powder coating cups like this. So that's what we do there. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, my big paper trimmer that we use for cutting um, like larger pieces of vinyl. Like I said, my inventory stuff. So let's go over here. This is more scrapbooking related stuff. This, well not this. This is um, stuff I use for my business. So I make personalized like family signs. These are ribbon and trims. Um, more ribbon and trims. Burlap. This is a roll of tape. Um, right here, I do have some graphic 45 paper that I use. Um, some altered canvases I wanted to do and just never got around to. This is my 12 by 12 paper collection pads that I have. These are ones I don't use as often. Um, and then over here on this side, these are graphic 45 papers that I actually sell um in my um in my uh what you call it i'm sorry in my my etsy store so i do sell some of these um i have the i have one thing of the um voyage and uh, beneath the sea i do have a lot of the world's fair i love that paper pack and then these right here are um what is it Sorry. Um, these are Enchanted Forests. So I do have a couple of those. And at this point, I'm no longer doing scrapbooking stuff just because it did not go as planned. And a lot of people just don't really want to buy scrapbooking stuff from someone on Etsy. So, um, so I do have those. I do sell them whenever I can or whoever decides to buy something i do and will always have a lot of score tape because that is what most people buy and plus i use a lot of score tape so it all works out so that is my craft room tour and thank you so much for my off topic babbling and i hope you enjoyed my messy craft space 
Um, and I hope to see you in my future projects. Thank you.